All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, today I'm going to answer a question from Alex Smith. Um, they were asking, at my school, they want us to use this formula for slope, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Have you seen this anywhere else? Um, yes, I have. Um, this is our formula for slope. M is what they use for slope, which stands for, man, that's the slope. I don't know what that stands for. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, if you'll remember, the reason for this is um, with slope, you're really just finding essentially the rate of change or how steep any line is. Um, so we can find out like that's going to be a lower number than something like this that would be a steep number. Okay. Now, um, if you'll remember, to count that, you do rise over run. Okay. Obviously, when you rise, you're going up and down. And when you run, you're going side to side. Therefore, that's why the Y's are on top and the X's are on bottom. A lot of people get confused on that, and they'll put the X's on bottom. I'm not mean the X's on top and the Y's on bottom because they just think it should go in alphabetical order, but it doesn't because your rise is your Y. Okay? It goes up and down, rise over run. You, that's usually easy to remember, but then put it together and know that the Y's go on top. Now, you can see it as that, or honestly, you can see it as Y1 minus Y2 over X1 minus X2. It doesn't matter. You can pick any... Any, any of the two coordinates you're comparing for your 1 or 2, and you'll get the same answer as long as you keep your 1's in this column and your 2's in this one, or vice versa. 2's over here and 1's over here. Okay? So let's work a problem. Okay? All right. Um, let's say you've got um, two coordinates. Say 2, negative 4, and 8, 0. Okay? And you want to find the slope of this line. Okay? All you do is put it in the slope formula. Now, I always recommend to students to label stuff. It makes it so much easier. You don't get confused. You don't use the wrong stuff. Okay? This is your x, and this is a y. This is an x, and this is a y. Let's make this our first coordinate, or our first, yeah, first coordinate, and then our second coordinate. Okay? Now, all we do is we take out the parts from this equation and plug in the ones we know. So, for instance, on y2, what's my y2? Zero. So I go zero minus what's our y one? Negative four. Over x two. Sorry, I like to circle them. That way I know I've used them. X two is eight minus sign and then our x one, which is two. What's zero minus negative four? When you minus a negative, that turns into a positive. It's positively the Answer to, okay, that wasn't good. I'm sorry. 8 minus 2 is 6. Now, can this be simplified any? Of course. We know that since they're both even numbers, we know automatically 2 goes into both of them. So I can divide the top by 2, which would be 2, and the bottom by 2, which would be 3. And now our slope is 2 over 3. So if you ever wanted to count these coordinates, um, you could pick one of the coordinates, like this one. We go over 2, down 4. I think I counted 4. Maybe I went over. And then from that coordinate, I can count Rise 2, run 3, put one there. Rise 2, run 3. Wow, those are good sound effects. And I've got my line. And that's it. You did a rise over run. And this line right here is also going to go through this coordinate because that's what we just did. It would be 8, 0. So it would be like right there. That's the point where that is. Man. That's some math right there, everybody. If you want, tweet in any more questions you have. Take a picture of it, or you can just type it like all Alex Smith did. Um, gay. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com.